Hi guys, my name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the second half of July reading for you all. July 16th through the 31st reading for Taurus. How are you all today? I am doing wonderful. I hope you guys are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. I've already meditated on the card, you all, before I start the video. You guys know it takes me a minute, so please be patient. I try to hurry. Cards we're using today are the Druid Craft Tarot, the Energy Oracle Cards, and the Angel Answer Oracle Cards. Alright, let's see what we got. Ten of Wands in Reverse. The Tower. The Feralit. King of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Star card. Clarifying, the Four of Cups, Seven of Wands, and the Strength. First Chakra, Archangel Michael. Second Chakra, Archangel Ariel. Wow. You got your angels beside you. Let go and success. I'm going to bring these like this. I hope you guys don't mind. Give me just a minute, okay? I feel like that there's something going on in your life that you're pretty much letting go. Especially with the let go of the tower, the ten of wands in reverse. Almost like it's uh, some kind of drama that's not necessary or that's not needed or that's not welcome. Whether it be that work or that um, job, that home life, the family. There's something about these cards that just makes me feel like there might be somebody that's intentionally, I, don't, I almost said the word abused, but it's not abused, it's torment <laughs> a little bit. You're kind of being tormented. And you don't deserve it, and you don't need it, and you don't want it, and you don't want to have anything to do with it. And it's coming to an end. So for whatever situation that you're in, that you feel like somebody's just kind of um, being mean for no reason, throwing you in the middle of drama for no reason, picking on you, jealous of you possibly, that nonsense is coming to an end. That nonsense is what you're letting go of. Because even though we have these cards, this, 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 these two cards, 
I have a good feeling that the way this is going to turn out is the way that you're wanting it to turn out. Sometimes, you guys, when we get the tower card or when we get the drama or the um, feel like people's picking on you or and you're just kind of tense about things and you're stressed out about things, sometimes these are a blessing in disguise. That is when the tower card comes in and says, here, I'm going to change this for you. Sometimes with the tower card, it is a huge change, and sometimes it's an abrupt change. But it's always a change for the best for you. Sometimes it's just an idea, an epiphany, the way you think, the way you handle things. That's what the tower is sometimes. So it's going to be a little different for everybody out there. But it really just makes me feel like you're finally going to stick up for yourself. You're finally going to do something about it. And, and it might just be the way you're thinking or the way you're reacting could actually change the way you live. Hold on one second. I have a feeling for some of you guys you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, male or female, full of fire, full of passion, intelligence. They could own their own business. They could be a mother-father figure. They could be a romantic partner. They could be someone that's helping you with a job. They could be someone that's giving you this drama, for all I know aggravation, stress. But here's the good news. I know I started that out in a little bit of a... But here's the good news. There's going to be something that comes into your life or that changes in your life that you are going to be absolutely tickled about. If you believe if you stay strong and determined and trust and have faith, let go of all of this nonsense. There's something that's coming into your life. Something, someone, a situation, a job, a person, something, a home that is going to really make you feel like your life is a lot better now. With this star card, that's what it means in my mind. It means that you're being guided, you're being led to the right path, on, down the right path, to the right location, to the right situation, to the right person. This is your wishes and dreams coming true. Because you're just about sick of all of this nonsense. And then you have this... Four of Cups where you're just kind of like, crap, what am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do about this situation? You're going to figure it out. You're going to let go of it. You're going to end it. And like I said, sometimes it's just the way you think. This Seven of Wands is just life experiences, you all. You defending your boundaries. You defending your job. You defending your family or your home. You defending yourself. And sometimes people keep throwing things at you, but you, you're like, I can handle this. And you're doing a great job at defending yourself. And this Ten of Wands, that's done. That burden is over. You being pulled in too many different directions and you not realizing um, that you're exhausted and all of that stuff or helping too many people or working too many hours, that's over. And there's something about your life that's about to be over too, so something else can come in that's a lot better for you. With this Feralit card, I get different feelings about it. Some of you guys might be creative and might be working and doing something from home, having some kind of a project or creating something or making something or um, finishing something could be worth some money. 
might be starting something too. It's almost like a magic card. It's almost like that. Um, I, I just have a feeling that you're being blessed with this situation ending so something better can come in. Something that you're going to be successful with. Something that you're going to be happy with. Something that's going to change your life, even if it's something small. And when you get two angels down here, Michael and Ariel, it's like that they're with you. They have your back. They're, um, they're trying to help you. All you got to do is ask. One's for stability and security, and one's for intimacy and creativity. Ask your angels to help you. They will. Give me just a minute, okay? Just like I said earlier, the burdens are being lifted, the drama is coming to an end, the stress and the aggravation and the um, feeling like you're being picked on and thrown under the bus and getting run over a few times, it's all about to end. This tower card's coming in, and for some of you, this could be a new job coming in, so you're quitting your old job. For some of you, this could be um, getting a new home, sticking up for yourself. And for some of you, it's just the way you're thinking can actually change your life. So the way you respond to people could be the key. you got to let go of this nonsense. You've got to ask your angels to help you. And then I get this king of wands, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It may be a male or female that you're dealing with could be someone that you don't like very much, or it could be someone that's a partner of yours, romantic partner, business partner, mother, father figure, boss, someone that can give you a new job possibly. could be you and your energy and your fire and your passion. And then when I get the strength card, it's almost like you're going to stay strong, you're going to stay determined, you're going to have faith, you're going to trust, you're going to believe, and you're going to move forward. And then I get the ferulet and the star over here. Some of you guys are either starting a new project, finishing a project, putting a patent on something, doing something that you like to do. And you guys are being led down the right path. If you'll listen. If you'll go with it. Your wishes are coming true. Your dreams This is the time to heal and to move forward. There's something about these cards that make me feel like, even though these are not so great, there's something about them that once you stand up for yourself or once you change one situation in your life or one way of thinking, one way of doing things, there's going to be something that you're going to be successful with. could be something large and it could be something small. It could be a new job. It could be that project. There's going to be something that you're very, very pleased with by the end of July. Have a good feeling. All right, Taurus. Even if it looks like it's a little bit iffy or a little bit sketchy or a little bit stressful, don't panic over it. You guys can handle it. And you guys will move forward. And then you'll be led. The universe will help you, guide you, and lead you down the right path for you. Let go of this nonsense and move forward. Ask your angels for guidance. 
All right, this is a good reading. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. This is your second half of July reading, July 16th through the 31st reading for Taurus. I hope you guys have enjoyed it today, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.